Hi Reddit, I am an Olympian who attend Pyeongchang 2018. Ask me anything. Even the controversial stuff. What did the athletes think of the Canadian skier who drunkenly stole a car? Laugh, but also they were appalled. While talking to some of skiers there, they said that there is a drinking slash partying culture in Alpine Canada, so they weren't surprised. Do many of the athletes worry about post-Olympic life? Yes. I'm currently in the phase of what do I do now? Did the people who won medals walk around high and mighty inside Olympic Village? Most of them were pretty humble about it and didn't brag. I think they didn't want to bring any unwanted attention. What country has the nicest athletes? Norway, except Christofferson. So what did most people eat in the Olympic Village? Burgers and pizza. What was the food like? I suspect athletes have pretty strict dietary standards leading up to their events, but if I was there I would want to try out all the local delicacies. They had everything. French fries, pizza, pasta, sushi, etc. You name it, and they had it available. Did you see anything you wish you wouldn't have? If anyone here has a GF slash BF that was there at Olympic, high chances that they cheated. Personally knew a handful of athletes that cheated on their partners. Has there been a time where it's almost your turn to go, and since it's cold, you suddenly need to go to the bathroom? Happens all the time. Congratulations on competing in the Olympics. My question is about the Kim Jong-un impersonator. What was the North Koreans' reaction to him? They absolutely hated him. He apparently tried to get close to their delegation, and their security detail tackled him. Did you see any serious partying, like lots of booze and irresponsibility? If so, which country's athletes drank the hardest? Oh yeah. On the last night, I went out to the only bar in Pyeongchang, and it was packed. The Eastern Europeans and Americans were the hardest partiers. Saw a few of them walking around piss drunk in the dining hall and harassing the staff there. Did you see the athletes from North Korea at all? If so, what was their demeanor? Did they speak English at all, was there a translator for them to communicate with you guys or were they mostly kept from the other athletes? None of them spoke English or talked to anyone. My friend did however get a picture with them and a pin. What were the shady slash controversial things you saw? Saw a lot in team fighting and a fight between a Russian and Canadian athlete. Did you win? Are you Sean White? Nope. What was customs like? Did you receive any special treatment being an athlete? Was a joke. There was a special line for Olympic delegations and they just looked at my passport and stamped it. What was your least favorite experience during the whole thing? Your favorite? The media. I had media approach me while I was out on personal trips with my family, which really irritated me. They lacked respect for athletes' personal space. How well did the host slash event organizers manage cultural slash language barriers? Did you witness any issues with this? There was some issues as a lot of the volunteers didn't fluently speak English. So at times it was frustrating to talk to them when you had an issue. Overall they were incredibly hard working and always friendly. What country's delegation was the most obnoxious? Privileged slash snobby? Nicest. USA, obnoxious France, privileged slash snobby Norway, nicest edit one, didn't read that question properly. What were the accommodations like? Were they nice or shoddy? Did you feel the games were run well by the host country? The accommodations were pretty average, kinda what you expect for a college dorm room. My room was really big and had a nice view of the village. The Korean definitely put on a good show. All of them were friendly, generous, and always willing to help everyone. In your opinion was there anything going on between Virtue and Moyer, or are they just amazing actors? I still don't understand their relationship dynamic. I saw them at the opening and medal ceremonies, and their chemistry was undeniable. Pretty sure they're dating. 
Were you able to talk with any North Korean athletes? Are there any generally hated Olympians? Maybe ones that think their sport is superior to others and look down on other athletes. Unfortunately, no. I wanted a pin from their country. Elizabeth Swanee was the least respected Olympian there. Henrik Christofferson was also not very friendly. Did you visit other countries' home bases, e.g. Canada House? What was your favorite? Visited the Canada, Czech, Austria and Sweden House The Canada House was kinda of lame and you had to pay for everything. All the other houses had free food and drinks. Austria and Czech were probably my favorite. How much time did you have to actually relax? How much time did you spend practicing? Did you have any other people who were not teammates slash Olympics related travel with you to South Korea? And how do you Olympians deal with nervousness slash generally being nervous and the pressure before actually performing in the Olympics? I didn't have a lot of time for myself. I spent a lot of time training or doing my rounds of media interviews. I did get to go out a couple times in Seoul and explore Korea after my events. My family came out to see me and stayed for the entire games. It's the Olympic man, enjoy yourself and compete like you always do. So, how much sex were the athletes having with each other? Does it happen as often as people think it does? Surprisingly, no. The media blew it out of proportion. The rooms in the village were not very private, so it was difficult for Hook UPS. I did, however, witness some Swiss guy notoriously hang around the rec center picking up chicks every night. What was the most controversial thing you witnessed? In team fighting Elizabeth Swanee Dave Duncan's drunken night. Did the North Koreans stay in the Olympic Village? They did indeed. They had a massive flag hanging from their building in the village. They usually kept to themselves and only walked in the town with their delegation and security detail. Did Lindsay Vaughn find a Valentine's date? Asking for a friend. She did, apparently, it was a news anchor. However, I did spot her on Bumble. Being that these were your first Olympic Games, what surprised you the most that you weren't expecting? Also, how much was free for you? Nick Kroll deciding to randomly show up in the village. Everything was free. What was the gossip about Elizabeth Swanee? Saw her around the village a couple times, she seemed very fake. After all the bad press, she went into hiding. A lot of athletes from the smaller countries were floored because she made them look really bad in the media. They felt that she was a scam and didn't earn her place there. Have you had sex with any other Olympians? Yes. What were the cliques like? Was it mostly athletes from the same nation sticking together or did cliques slash groups form according to their sport etc? Most athletes stuck together with their own countries. Thanks for doing this ask me anything. Is there any sort of talk that you are given by your host country or by NBC or the Olympic Committee regarding how you are supposed to act or regarding political statements or topics that might be sensitive to the Olympics? Mostly to just stay neutral. Try to defer any political comments and don't state your position. Did it ever feel anticlimactic? What was your favorite part? What's the part that no one who wasn't there wouldn't guess? It wouldn't say anticlimactic, but the opening ceremonies were a bit a disappointment. There was a lot of unsold seats compared to the closing ceremonies, really odd. I think everything about it was amazing. It was my first games, so I didn't have any expectations. Really enjoyed the atmosphere at the short track races and my events. Hi, how efficient is the IOC anti-doping agency? Have you come across any cases slash hearsay where an athlete won a medal because of performance enhancement drugs but cleared the official doping test? After Sochi, they definitely step up their game. I was tested three times in the week before my departure to Korea and once before competition. I haven't, but I wouldn't be surprised if there was one athlete there at Pyeong Chang. What was your dating app of choice for Olympian hookups? Tinder. Everyone staying in the village got upgraded to gold for free. 
Surprisingly a lot of the athletes shut their account down because NBC had an Instagram page that exposed everyone. So most of the people you matched with were not in Korea and were using the passport feature to match with all the Olympians. Did you get to see or meet the North Korean cheerleaders? What was your impression of them? They always look sort of unreal or dull like when I saw photos of them. I did see them at my event when I was competing and at the short track race. I think it was a hilarious propaganda tool by DPRK, and they seemed very doll-like and fake. Around them, there were escorts that made sure none of them escaped. What was the general stance towards German and Norwegian, etc.? Athletes like, especially those who won multiple medals. Like were they not well seen or was everyone just happy for them? Nobody had hard feelings to them. Only or and their athletes who won medal. What was the general stance towards Russian athletes? Did you interact with them? Do they discuss the doping scandal? Most of them were really quiet and kept themselves. Everyone respected their space and didn't bother them much, asterisk except the Canadians. There was already bad vibes from everyone so they didn't really talk to anyone except their own delegation members. However, I talked to a few of them in the fitness center and they were really nice. Do you think Paiyong Chang was well prepared to host the Olympics? Any unsafe things or weird happen? It was safe, nothing out of the ordinary happened from what I remember. They definitely had their together well in advance. From the perspective of an athlete, what is the best and worst part of competing at an Olympic level? Is there anything that you wish was handled better? Best, competing against some of the best athletes in the world worse, high pressure to succeed for sponsors, nation, etc. handled better, media. Did you get a poutine at Canada House? Nah man, that was overpriced. You've mentioned in team fighting a couple of times. Can you give us an example? What's going on to incite things like that? Apparently, there was drama going on in the Ken Woman Bob's Lee team, and none of them sat together. One them left the dining hall in tears a couple of times. Not exactly sure about the details, but I believe it has to do with competitiveness or the team positions. So how many athletes are doping? Everyone is doping. I hear that for people from poorer countries, the highlight of going to the Olympics is actually getting much needed health care. Are they able to receive that? Also, are companies just throwing things at you as far as gifts and goodies? There is a polyclinic that has everything in terms of healthcare. You have access to physio, acupuncture, dentist, medicine, etc. You'd be surprised that it's not just smaller countries that take advantage of this, but in fact a lot of American athletes were using the dental care access. Samsung gave every athlete a free Samsung Galaxy Note 8 phone. Got a backpack, a lot of clothing, headphones, goggles, and a lot of free equipment. How is Sean White off camera? I have heard he can be kind of rude in person, but that's something I read on the internet so could be completely false. No, it's very true. My brother got snubbed by him when he asked for an autograph. Hi, thanks for ask me anything. 1. Is that much sex really happen which is portrayed by media? 2. How you dealt with the performance pressure. 3. How bad was the effect of norovirus? 4. Does the sportsmanship spirit really exists in that highly competitive environment? Recent example from this time. 1. Every athlete was really just focused on competing too. It was my first Olympic so I really didn't have any high expectations. Just to have qualified and to be able to take a part was a huge honor in itself. I just competed like I would have on any normal day. 3. The media over-exaggerated it. There was maybe 8 confirmed cases, not 30-something. 4. Yes. I was surprised to see some top-level athletes and even medalists came to me and gave me some personal advice. What's the deal with Virtue and Moyer? Dating. I know you want to keep this pretty anonymous, so I'll try to be general. What continent are you from? Paynham. 
What did you do to spend the time when you were not attending the ceremonies and events? Went to McDonald's, watched other events, trained, did some interviews, and toured Korea. How's the McDonald's at the Olympic Village? It was pretty average, very low selection of items. I went about five to six times and not as often as I'd like because there was only one stand in the Gangneung Village and it was a 38 minutes ride from the Pyeongchang Village. It was definitely worth it because you could order as much food as you wanted. Did you get a lot of attention from fans slash locals? Hmm. Did you meet PETA, the Tongan athlete? Was he nice and authentic? I did meet PETA. He was nice. Honestly, he posed for the camera and with other people, but he's a kind of fraud like Swanee. Most of his delegation members were very snobby and kinda had this high glory vibe around them. I think it's cool and all what he did, but now he's going on and loathing up all the media attention after he said he would be returned to Tonga after the games to help repair the damage after the storm. He's currently in LA doing more self-promoting. I don't think he's as genuine as people perceive him. Are you the Hungarian woman who scammed her way into the games? Ah ha ha ha. Nah man, but I absolutely depeced her. Since Olympics is a huge sex fest. What country's Olympians are the most popular and unpopular? I know this question is probably messed up and I asked it in an inelegant way, but I still would like to know. Thanks. USA, Italians, and Australian athletes are always DTF. Two related questions, did you find it possible to enjoy your time at the Olympics before your events took place? Do athletes scheduled to compete near the end of the games often find themselves more stressed out than the ones competing earlier? I always imagine athletes being bundles of anxiety until they get their part out of the way. Absolutely. I always found time to have fun before my events and enjoyed watching some other events. Hello. Did you have a chance to meet Lithuanian, or Latvian, athletes? Maybe. Who was the hottest athlete in your opinion? Saskia Alusalu. Did you collect all the pins? I tried my hardest man. Sue. How was the Olympic orgy? Didn't get an invitation, sadly. Do most of the athletes leave it on the field? That is, are they friendly to their competitors before and after the competition, or are there a lot of grudges and gloating? It depends on the sport I guess. In my sport, everyone was friendly to each other even the top athletes. What was the biggest sport surprise among the athletes? Was it two gold medals in two different sports by Esther Ledecka, silver medal for the German ice hockey team or something else? Esther Ledecka run for sure surprised everyone. It's always nice to see the unexpected athlete win at the Olympics. You guys pay for food or is there a cafeteria? Do you get cash from sponsors, IOC, or something similar? Free hotel mini bar? There was a story about the ore and Canadians involved in a food fight. Is this true? Accommodation and food is covered. Some NOC give out allowances to their athletes. Yes, this happened. Ivanka. Dad. Did you perceive there to be special treatment for the athletes of certain countries? If so, can you give examples? US athletes were given elite status as I would say. Had private buses and car on call for their athletes who wanted to explore around the area. How much free time to explore Korea did you have? Aside from the impersonators was there any political stunt slash propaganda on show? The North Korean cheerleader were definitely propaganda. I did get some time to go to Seoul and spend a night there. How much K-pop did you hear? Not as much as you think. They had this awful artist who sung the theme song for the Olympics and it was annoying AF. All the Samsung phone were programmed to have it as the ringtone. Did you meet any New Zealand athletes? How were they to interact with? Met a few of them in the airport. Super friendly and really funny. Let's talk about the drugs. What do you guys do since you get tested for things? As an athlete, 
it's our responsibility to make sure that we adhere to WADA code of conduct and that we do not take any banned substance, unless for medical reasons. For myself, I take a supplement brand that is WADA approved. Which country had the sexiest athletes? Norway for sure. Estonia had a gorgeous speed skater. I forgot her name. How were the openly gay slash bisexual Olympians, particularly the men, generally treated, including by other athletes? This year's Winter Olympics had so many more out athletes, so I'm curious if the social environment was generally positive, negative, or just neutral given their presence. Personally, I never got to meet any of those athletes, but I heard a lot about them from articles and talks from other athletes. I think the Olympic is special because it brings people from all over the world and for a period of time, we can separate our differences. How much sex was there? Did you get the norovirus? Not as much as you'd expect, from what I saw. I did get a lucky a few times. Do the athletes party a lot before or after their competitions? After competition. What media groups were the most pleasant and least pleasant to deal with? Pleasant, Olympic Channel BBC Eurosport, sometimes, CBC, some reporters, CNN least, NBC Associated Press Toronto Star. Who was the most awkward attendee? North Korea or Mike Pence? Mike Pence for sure. Did you bang any North Koreans? Dude, it was difficult to even get near them. I have heard about some countries bringing lots of asthma medicine, and registering their Olympians as people with asthma, as it apparently works as low-key doping. Do you know anything about this? Marit Georgian is notorious for doing this. What's the deal with Lindsay Vaughn? I can't tell if I should love her or hate her. The coverage of all her events left me bewildered. Is she the ultimate protagonist or antagonist? It left me feeling she was very full of herself but it also could be just how NBC covered her, I can only imagine they were creating her storyline. Any real life interactions with her? NBC put a lot of attention on her, more than what was necessary. I respect the fact that she has worked her off to get here and overcame a nasty injury but didn't live up to the hype that NBC created. Never had an interaction with her, but had a very close encounter, she was kind of snobby. She was mocking another athlete for being cheery in the ceremonies. Thank you for watching, be sure to like and subscribe for more content every day.